Let's face it, fear can be exhilarating. It's like being on a roller coaster ride without the cart actually plummeting off a cliff. It's all the thrills, none of the spills. But have you ever stopped to think about how fear can actually make us feel good? Well, buckle up, because we're about to explore the wonderful world of fear. Now, before we continue, it's important to clarify that we are talking about fear in non-life-threatening situations. We're not trying to make light of actual danger here, because that would be as admirable as trying to juggle flaming swords blindfolded. So, for the sake of our amusement, let's focus on those manageable fears that send shivers down our spines but still allow us to sleep at night. One prime example of fear feeling good is the classic haunted house experience. Picture this, you're standing in line, waiting eagerly with your friends, excitement coursing through your veins. The anticipation builds as you get closer and closer to the entrance. Finally, it's your turn to venture into the unknown. The moment the door creaks open, your heart starts racing, yet you can't help but grin from ear to ear. Inside, the dimly lit maze is full of eerie sounds, <laughs> creepy creatures, and the occasional unexpected jump scare. You may be terrified out of your mind, but with every scream, you can't help but feel a little giddy. It's an odd mix of terror and delight, like riding a roller coaster through a haunted forest, while a clown plays the ukulele in the background. Absolutely thrilling. While we're on the topic of the supernatural, let's not forget ghost stories. There's nothing quite like gathering around a campfire, listening to a spine-chilling tale of restless spirits or mischievous apparitions. As the narrator skillfully spins their web of suspense, your imagination begins conjuring the most terrifying images. You jump at the sound of a branch snapping in the distance even though it's most likely just a raccoon on its way to a late-night garbage buffet. That momentary fright, however, sends shivers down your spine and leaves you wanting more. Beyond the realm of eerie entertainment, there are other fears that can feel oddly satisfying. Take watching scary movies, for example. There's a certain kind of thrill in being glued to the edge of your seat, heart pounding, palms sweaty, as the protagonist escapes yet another menacing creature. The adrenaline rush that fear provides is like a shot of espresso for your soul. Who needs caffeine? When you can wake yourself up with a well-timed jump scare? Perhaps one of the most bizarre masochistic fears we readily subject ourselves to is public speaking. Yes, the mere thought of standing in front of a crowd can make us break out in a cold sweat, but for some reason, we keep volunteering for it. The fear of judgment, embarrassment, or making a fool of ourselves might be overwhelming, but once we conquer it, boy does it feel amazing. There's nothing quite like the electricity in the air, when you deliver that perfectly timed punchline, and the crowd erupts in laughter. It's a high that outshines any comedy club and leaves you craving for more. So, my pals, the next time you find yourself trembling with fear in a safe and controlled environment, embrace it. Whether it's surviving a haunted maze, divulging in a ghost story, or pushing through that stage fright, relish the exhilaration. Because, let's be frank, life without these eerie pleasures would be about as exciting as watching paint dry. So go forth, and don't be afraid to enjoy fear. Just as long as your life isn't genuinely hanging in the balance. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.